Don't suck. Please don't suck. Don't, don't be a piece of shit. I hope they don't ruin you. I love you. I'm another idiot on the internet whose opinion doesn't matter. Let's go. Ready to go check out Solo. Let's hope it's not a piece of shit. Well, that could have been a lot worse. For a movie that nobody really wanted, who's a villain and who's a good guy is really just a certain point of view. This movie ticked all the boxes it needed to tick. How Han got his name, how he got the Falcon, how he met Chewie, why he's a bit of a dick. It was good to see Wookiees represented as the goddamn monsters they are. They really could have just made a romantic comedy called When Han Met Chewie. It's a fun movie if you're not holding on to the old ones like it's your last dick. It was cool seeing new planets, new aliens, and there's a lot of really cool aliens in this. I really do like how some of the big questions people had are just explained in throwaway lines. And I kind of like that about what Disney is doing. They take all the fanboys and speculate, and then they just explain it in one fucking line. Fuck you, fanboys. This movie manages to give you what you want to see in a movie that you didn't want. Childish motherfucking Gambino. My fucking Lando. He's a slick space pimp with a sweet cape collection. Alden Ehrenreit or whatever the fuck his name is. He did a good job considering he had a role that pretty much everyone was going to fucking hate him for. Woody Harrelson as Beckett was pretty great. He plays a good scumbag piece of shit. Game of Thrones chick, she was the worst out of everybody. Paul Bentley was pretty rad in this movie. I mean, he was sinister and he had a cool weapon. I think Ron Howard did a good job. There is a movie. No one was expecting this to be a cinematic masterpiece or even really fucking like it, so the fact that people don't hate it, I would definitely chalk up as a goddamn win. The space pirates are pretty cool. Of course it's Disney, so they had to have their equal rights joke because they have to make all the SJWs happy. By the way, fuck you. You're making everything less fun. Get a goddamn sense of humor. Stop trying to save the fucking world. Just live in it. This world. Not the fucked up one in your head. Quit bitching about everything. It's annoying. I fucking hate you. The train heist was pretty dope. I mean, who doesn't like a fucking train heist? I'm pretty sure there's a nod to Needles from Back to the Future. I like how in these newer movies are exploring how the rich live in the galaxy, because we never really got to see that before. And it's kind of cool to see who is profiting off of the war and how they live. There's one surprise in this movie. It's pretty awesome. Star Wars fans gotta be the only people who just constantly complain about things that they love. It's so goddamn weird. I don't understand it. Fuck you, fanboys. I'm sure within a couple days the internet will tell everybody what to think about this movie, and that's what they'll think, because they're fucking idiots. So Solo didn't ruin a character that I've loved since I was a kid. It's not like you can fucking kill him again. I mean, if a movie ruins your childhood, then you had a fucked childhood. Until episode 9 comes out, this is what people can complain about. I'm another idiot on the internet, whose opinion doesn't matter. Make sure you like and subscribe.